Locally owned and operated for over 50 years, Delaware Camera is your number one spot for all your camera needs, education, accessories, printing, and more. Located at 2635 Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. Hey, true believers, this is Mark from the upstairs gallery at Delaware Camera, surrounded by the artwork of this man, Jeff Barnes, who we, we will be interviewing uh, later in the episode. Um, so we know how we like to start. We like to do our housekeeping. So our housekeeping is going to be a few things. So we have a class coming up next Wednesday, a Canon-sponsored class. We're gonna, they're gonna do a uh, what to shoot when you don't know what to shoot class. So kind of a class for inspiration. So if you're in a bit of a rut or something and you're looking for ideas on what to shoot, that class is gonna help you. It's next Wednesday the 7th at 7 p.m. And um, sign up on our website. Well, our website goes to our Eventbrite page and you sign up there. And that's how you get into that class. We have a bunch of Canon classes coming up soon. We're just kind of trying to figure out when we can have them because of uh, getting, uh, getting the instructors on board. And Canon usually has like kind of like a, they have like a crew that comes in, someone to give the uh, presentation, someone who does the uh, chat, chat room. It's a big, big, uh, a big presentation with Ken, so we appreciate them doing that. So that is coming up soon. So we had a photo walk last week at Canal Side, which went pretty good, but uh, we're looking for some more ideas. So we're gonna try to get some more photo walks going in the fall. So um, if you have any ideas, feel free to email us, uh, go on our social media, comment, stuff like that. Email me, mark at camerspot.com. We're always looking for something fun to do. Um, as far as new stuff we've gotten in this week, we got some Rode microphones in. Our Rode rep was just in this past week for a visit. So we got some more Rode stuff in for you video shooters. Um, we're gonna have a Rode video sometime in the next little while, but we're just trying to figure it out because our Rode rep isn't in town. He's based out of another state. So we're trying to figure out how we can get the logistics of that going and everything. So look for road, a road video soon. You know, we had a ceremonic video with Ray Nason recently. We're gonna do a road video soon as well. So you can kind of see what they have to offer as far as what they're doing. Speaking of Sarah Monic and Ray Nason, Ray is also our, uh, he's also our rep for a bunch of other lines that we carry, like Nanlite. He's gonna come in a week or so to record a video uh, telling you all about the new Nanlite stuff that we got in. So we're gonna do that video. Will's gonna, producer Will's gonna record it. He's gonna make it look nice. We're gonna play it for you uh, in a couple of Tuesdays, I think, time permitting. We're gonna have that video for you. So you can kind of see what we're offering as far as nan light and lights in general upstairs in our, our second floor, you know, Delaware camera upstairs. So what else do I have here? Let's see. Ooh, shout out to our Tamron rep, Andrew. I think we're going to get a 50 to 400 to do an unboxing with. So look out for that on one of these, or maybe uh, we might just do a, a gorilla video where we just open it up and show you what we got. So in a few moments, we're going to talk to uh, Jeff Barnes. So give us a moment. We're going to get ready and he'll be back soon. gang we're back here with Jeff Barnes who was here before and if you come to Delaware camera you know who Jeff Barnes is I'm happy to call Jeff a friend a mentor and all of the above I was watching a, I was watching this um self-help video and the guy was like well if you want to be if you what? is Will coughing back there I think he is but don't mind Will anyway <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. But. So it was, he, the guy was saying, if you wanted to be something in life, like find someone who's doing what you want to do and, you know, follow them, befriend them, you know, emulate what they're doing. And Jeff Barnes is kind of that way for me. Like, like 
great photographer, not just saying that. And then I have his work up in here. You know, the man, the man does things. I, I'm on, I'm on the micro, I'm on the, the mirror over there. But anyway, so I can see myself. I don't want to see myself. But anyway, <laughs> but you don't come here over here. So Jeff, I'm going to talk to Jeff about his uh, life and career, his post Delaware camera life, all that stuff. Cause Jeff used to manage our transit road store and we, you know, back in the day. So, but he's gone on to bigger and better things. He's award winning. He's an AP photographer. He's done pretty much everything you can do in photography, which is awesome. So uh, thanks for coming on, Jeff. No problem. Thanks for having me. All right. So, you know, this is kind of cool because, you know, a lot of people want to be photographers and stuff, and you are it. You like, you know, you've been doing it forever. How long, when did you start doing photography? Oh, man. Mid 80s. First camera, 1984, and it hasn't stopped since. What camera was that? That was a Kodak disc camera. Christmas. Oh really? I was 16 years old. <laughs> nice. Got the AE1 probably 89-ish mm -hmm. and started shooting film around about late 80s. Did my high school yearbook photos, um, all the sports for that. So mm -hmm. I was using a 35 millimeter. Do you uh, do you still have those cameras? I do. Nice. I definitely do. Yeah, Can't we... get no film for them anymore. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think you can if you can like uh, if you can even develop that anymore. It's, it's so old. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. So you're in, you're doing the yearbook. Mm -hmm. um, you're doing your high school stuff. Were you good back then? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I would call me good. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I had to get it in focus first. Yeah, you but know? you always, I mean, you're like I always say, like you, you pull shots out of everywhere. Like you, you find, you could be in this room, this white room, and find something that's interesting in here and get a good shot of it. So it's just a lot of practice. Yeah. You know, the more you shoot, the yeah, I think every yeah every time I look on your Facebook, like Jeff Barnes went out this morning and shot all these pictures and they're already up. Like I got pictures from like three months ago I haven't put up yet. So wow. <laughs> you, you were you're a little bit more like on it than I am, I would say. But um, what was your first kind of photo related job? Like that a job that involved photography. My first photo related job was Prince Charming Photo Lab, 1989. It was a photo lab in the Thruway Mall actually. In I remember the Thruway Mall. Um, <laughs> Well, the option was to go to college or work at a photo lab, and I went photo lab. Oh, really? Um, I so, learned a lot from seeing other people's pictures, developing film all day long, yeah. and getting that discount, which always helps if you're, you know, starting off doing photography. Definitely. Um, so I learned a lot doing that, and yeah. then started doing some other jobs outside of that once I started getting my feet wet in the developing world. Yeah, so that's like, that's a photo related job, but let's talk about a shooting job. So when was like your first like photo shoot that someone like was like, Jeff Barnes, I want you to shoot this for me? Uh, probably the late 80s, I started working for the B group newspapers. So mm -hmm. I was given assignments to go shoot high school football games mm -hmm. or anywhere from football to crap shows, just getting out there and taking pictures of stuff in the area. So that was, I would say that was my first related photo, you know, paid job yeah. for photography, working freelance for a newspaper. Do you still have all of your old negatives? I have every, probably every negative I've ever shot. Yeah. Even my wedding negatives, when the people don't want them anymore, but I still have them. <laughs> yeah. I've kept all of mine too. I haven't shot as many as you have, but like, I keep everything I shoot I everything. within reason. Right. Unless they've gotten lost or something. And the problem with working at a photo lab is I was able to print all my pictures, so I also have four by six prints of almost every picture that I shot on film. Yeah. <laughs> Digital is a little bit different. You know, everything is in this little card in your computer yeah. right now. I have yeah. boxes, yeah. boxes of prints. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you have every, you have prints of most stuff you shot? I threw out, you know, if it was bad, I didn't, you know. You the beauty of working at the lab is you can yeah. just kind of pick and choose what you're printing. Yeah, that was, that's one of the beauties of doing this. But I, I, we, I haven't like printed anything in forever. Like I don't, I don't print anything. I'm, I've gotten kind of slack with that. But you're busy being a manager. Thanks, man. <laughs> or is that a thing? Is that is that a compliment? It is. It is. <laughs> Thanks. Um. So. So you started shooting. So when did you like start? I know, like, I don't know if anyone's seen Jeff's work. Sports and Leisure magazine. You know, Facebook everywhere. AP. When did you first like start shooting sports? Like, what made you decide like sports was like something you really wanted to shoot? Um. Well, I, I think. The high school yearbook, being able to do the high school football games and being on the field and everything, um, to me it was cool to be able to be kind of where other people weren't, being on the sideline. So mm -hmm. I kind of got the bug for it doing the high school yearbook stuff. Yeah. And then, you know, working for the B and doing some college games. And then in the late 90s, started working for Sports and Leisure magazine. Mm -hmm. And that got me into the pro sports. And once I started shooting 
pro sports, then mm -hmm. it was no turning back. Yeah. So also during that time, I was doing a lot of weddings. So the weddings definitely paid the bills for the longest time. I mean, I started doing weddings in '92 and still do them to this day. Not as many as I used to. Yeah. But weddings were also a big part of what I was doing too. So that's the thing too. So do sports like you're shooting all these sports like sports don't pay that well necessarily. It does right? it definitely does not. Yeah. But it's a great, you know. With the weddings, you know, you, you're you're busy in the summer, and then in the fall and the winter, you're not too busy. But with mm -hmm. doing sports, sports is year-round, so you can always have some kind of money coming in. Yeah. To sports. So the sport. So yeah. So sports was first because it was a yearbook, and then weddings came in like '92. And then weddings came after someone asked me to do their wedding. I was very nervous about it because I never shot a wedding. It was film, so it wasn't isn't like it is today, where you can kind of look and go, oh, "That looks good." You had to yeah sweat it out for a couple days to see if you got all the shots. Yeah, I think one of the first weddings I was going to shoot, like a friend of mine asked me to shoot the wedding and then I was like, eh, I'm going to ask Jeff Barnes to do the wedding. So I think it's, you, yeah, it's, <laughs> it, can, it can be nerve wracking. There's a lot of pressure. I mean, yeah. the pressure has been taken off a little bit with the advent of digital. I mean, yeah. you can see, you know, the different lighting scenarios in the film days. It was definitely harder. Yeah. Um, but it was a learning experience. I learned a lot from doing it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I, it had to be hard, like with. Did you use like light meters and stuff when you were shooting weddings back in the day? I did. Yeah. Yeah. Especially did you, with the medium format cameras yeah. because they didn't have built in light meters, some of them, so I had to use a light meter. I was going to ask you if you did any, any medium format stuff at yep. your wedding. 35 and a medium format mix. Because you kind of had to back then, right? You had to like have if the you medium format. Blown up, decent size, you yeah. had to at least have medium format to get there. Yeah, yeah. I just scanned a wedding from the 90s. It's like 200 medium format pictures that yep. we did here. But uh, anyway. Yeah, you definitely don't take as many. You didn't take as many then as you do now. Yeah, like yeah. You give people 200 pictures and they were happy. Now you give them yeah. 2,000. Yeah, I think I at my know. at my first wedding it was like 13 rolls of film the photographer shot. <laughs> that yeah. was that was it. Because you so, went with 13 rolls. Yeah. <laughs> you, you had to plan it out. You couldn't shoot 13 rolls at the house of the girls getting ready. You had to yeah, kind of like okay, I got to spread it you out. You didn't want like run out like you know get to like the port the, the formals and then you're out of pictures like. Right. Uh, Right. So anyway, okay, so you shot your, uh, you're doing sports, you're doing weddings. Are there any other like kind of types of photography that you dabble in? At everything. I yeah. never wanted to pigeonhole myself into being known as a wedding photographer mm -hmm. or just a sports photographer. I like to do everything. So I was doing families, high school seniors, mm -hmm. pet photography, anything yeah. that came my way I would, I would want to do and learn how to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I do a lot of personal projects on the side, and a lot of zoo pictures, you know, that stuff I don't get paid for, but the good thing about your job also being your hobby is that you're constantly working and you're mm -hmm. constantly learning because you're just shooting all the time. Yeah, what was your last, your last show? That was all Buffalo pictures. Yeah, it was all Buffalo pictures, yeah. yeah. Didn't get, that was, a lot of those were shot during the pandemic when we were non-essential, mm -hmm. um, which was <laughs> the first time in all these years where they, I, they just told me I couldn't work, yeah. but I was still doing things and going out and taking pictures you yeah. know, and doing stuff like that. And then I had a show with all the stuff that yeah, I Yeah, that was a good show. Where, that was in North Carolina, right? Yeah. Yeah. Carnegie um, Museum. Yeah. That was good stuff. Yeah. Um, so I know we're all, we've always talked about like, like clubs and stuff. Are you in any photographic clubs around the area? Locally, I'm in the Science Museum Camera Club, mm -hmm. which is a great club because they offer like little courses and they have print competitions. Um, so it's a great place to learn. Mm -hmm. And that's right at the Buffalo Science Museum. Mm -hmm. um, also, I'm a member of the BSA, which is the Buffalo Society of Artists. That's just a bunch of artists, you know, mm -hmm. um, that, that that started 100 years ago or something like that. And mm -hmm. it's great to be a member of that. Mm -hmm. And then nationally, the Professional Photographers of America. I've been a member there since 96-ish. Weren't you like in a magazine or something about that? Yeah, you know, a couple <laughs> little blurbs here and there. <laughs> too modest, Jeff, too modest, so. Um, That's why I'm behind the camera, not in front. <laughs> Fair enough. So, so um, I always thought you should be shooting for the paper. You know, like you're you're one of the best that I know. You know, no shade to people who are shooting for the paper, but right. jet, I mean, you know, I. I mean, the paper is 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 nice and everything, but some of it's. I mean, the sports and that's great, but some of the stuff those guys have to do. I mean, it's, there's it's depressing some of it. You know. Some yeah, of yeah, yeah. Some of the. Some of the stories they have to cover, it, it's got to be, it's got to be hard. Yeah. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it'd be a great job. It's probably good to have like you kind of have more control, I guess, over what you're doing. It's not like being able to be my own boss definitely is a is a plus. Yeah, definitely. So, um, when did you start shooting for the Associated Press? 
2016, I was approached, and I got that through working through Sports and Leisure magazine. Now, Sports mm -hmm. and Leisure magazine wasn't a big, high-paying job, mm -hmm. but I got to meet a lot of people. Yeah. And then it paid off because years later, they mm -hmm. knew I shoot, they sh I shot sports, and they reached yeah. out, mm -hmm. and then been doing that freelancing for them since about 2016. Yeah. And that's mainly Buffalo Sabres, Bills, and if there's any like news events that happen in Buffalo, they usually send me out to that. They'll call you up or? Yeah, there's a couple of us in town that they'll call to, mm -hmm. to give us those freelance jobs. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. And those um, pictures kind of go all over the place, so they're, it's like a national, so it's kind of cool to see your pictures on you know the Washington Post website or New York yeah. Times or yeah. all those. Oh, my microphone. Outlets. Anyway, so um, let's uh, get the question 11. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, yes. so here's a quick question. So when, so when you go to a Bills game, yeah. what do you bring with you? Like what, what is the gear to get when you shoot a Bills game? A couple bodies, of course. Mm -hmm. um, it's always good to have that wide angle option hanging off you. But mm -hmm. typically, I use a 400 to 8 for mm -hmm. you know, some of the night games. But I use a, my 100 to 400. All Canon. I've always had Canon mm -hmm. since day one. Never switched. Yeah. Um, just picked up the mirrorless from, yeah. from Delaware Camera, mm -hmm. um, and that camera is crazy fast. So yeah. Mainly, I use the 100 to 400 a lot. Yeah. But the 400 to 8 is nice because you you know you blur off the background nice and you can get the action right in there. Yeah. Did you uh, did you find uh, it hard being the transition from like like DSLR to mirrorless or was it easy? I'm still I only shot two games with it so far, so mm -hmm. it's definitely a little different. Mm -hmm. I don't need 30 frames a second, yeah. um, so I slowed that down a little bit. It's it's different to look at a digital viewfinder as opposed to yeah. you know what I've been used to for all these years. So that's that's the only thing that I had to get really used to. Mm -hmm. But it's great. It's a great camera. So if you guys watch or stick attention, stay pay attention to our Instagram. Like, uh, how long ago we do that? Will the live at his store was that like months ago? Maybe almost a year ago, but we went to Jeff's store. He has a store in the Eastern Hills Mall. So I know you've kind of had a studio the whole time that I've known you. So what, tell us about your store in the Eastern Hills Mall. So I've always had studios and, you know, to do, because a lot, a lot, there's definitely downtime in between. So I needed to have a studio where I can have people come and I can take pictures. Mm -hmm. So it's just not all outdoor stuff. Yeah. Um, and I was looking for a space and Eastern Hills Mall had some good size space for a really good price. So I went there and then I decided to sell some of my artwork because I've never really sold some of the stuff I do for fun, like the Buffalo pictures or mm -hmm. some landscapes, stuff like yeah. that. So yeah, it's a studio slash store right in the mall and I've had it for three years now and it's it's, it's awesome. It's working out really good. Yeah. I hope to stay there as long as I can. Yeah, definitely check it out. There's If you're looking for good Buffalo pictures, like that's the place to go. Yeah. I mean, I know there's other places that have Buffalo things, but. This is the man right here. He, he's got he's got the best stuff in the world. I'm not just saying that because he's Jeff. But anyway, so okay, so we got to your store. We talked about um, we talked about your, uh, your uh, talked about your, your life and career. So um, if someone's starting out photography, what is your best advice for them? Shoot some film. Really. Like well, Ethan's I, doing? Like my son, you know, he loves photography. He's kind of, the last couple of years, he's, he's been really mm -hmm. getting into it. And he likes film because he's learning what aperture and shutter speed is all about. Mm -hmm. Sometimes with the newer digital cameras, it's literally a point and shoot. And mm -hmm. I don't think you learn as much. So yeah. I think shooting film, you have to know what you're doing. Yeah. You have to be able to rely on your reading the light and knowing what's going to work and what's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say shooting film. Yeah. And if you're just shooting digital, I mean, the more you shoot, the better you get. Yeah. So it would yeah. be shoot as much as you can. So here's here's a here's a little quirky question: Is Ethan better than you two years in? Two years in? <laughs> yeah, probably because I had no one showing me. <laughs> Fair enough. So that makes sense. He's got you know I, I help him out. Yeah, yeah. Know? Sometimes it's good criticism, and sometimes <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? You know. So yeah, he does pretty good he's though. He's got the push. Yeah, he's, he's he does pretty good. He's he's definitely learned from somebody. Well, it's good. I mean, he loves his film, and I mean, he has access to all my equipment, and he yeah. could use all that stuff, but he just yeah. sticks with his 8E1 or his medium format cameras, and yeah. he loves it. I'm glad he's at shows taking pictures, too, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, getting out there. Because he's young and gets out to all the shows, uh, which I no longer do, but it's cool that someone is actually, you know, doing it and going out and sure. chronicling all this stuff. So, 
I really appreciate you coming on and doing this. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you, you, it was great. I, I enjoy talking. We can, we can talk about question 11 off camera. Sounds good. <laughs> but, a uh, um, couple things. Next week is Sharon Dentis. She's going to come on and tell us about this event that NFRCC is having. It's uh, Alan Shapiro is coming to uh, do a presentation. It's their fall seminar. So that's coming up next month, uh, October 15th. Um, if you want to sign up, seminars.nfrccevents.org or just look online, NFRCC Alan Shapiro. There should be something there. He's, she's going to come on and tell us about the camera clubs and tell us about this event that's happening and also tell us about what's in her bag because first Tuesday of every month is what's in your bag. And the next month, our artist spotlight is going to be Vicente Rondon and Sarah Wintel. They're going to they open up a new uh, studio space uh, in Blackrock, I think it is. And, they're gonna tell us about that. They're also alumni of this store. So they're gonna talk about that last Tuesday of next month. And uh, if you like this and you're only watching this on YouTube, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, like they say on those videos. Tell people, you know, tell people about it because we're we're hoping to grow this. You know, we're we're always open to suggestions, constructive criticism, all that stuff. But this is fun and we like to do it, so we're gonna keep doing it, you know, because what we do here at Delaware Camera. Can I say one more thing? Yeah, definitely, Jeff. Delaware Camera, is, I've been a part of Delaware Camera since 1992 when I started working here, and mm -hmm. there's no other camera store in Buffalo like it, obviously, because we're <laughs> the only one. But even when there was multiple camera stores, this yeah. was the place to come. They yeah. can get anything you need. Um, there's nothing that they can't get for you. Thank you. I Thank mean, you for that. Buy, people buying stuff online all the time, to me, doesn't make sense, because you can come here, you can hand it, you can look at it, you got people that will show you how to use it, yeah. and the price, you know, they're going to match the price. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Appreciate that. Because yeah. a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think that we're somehow more expensive than definitely other places. Yeah. It's all the same. We match prices within reason if we right. can. You know, we're not going to lose money on the sale. But thank you for saying that because yeah. it's, it's a common misconception of... And developing film, this is the place to go. Yeah. There are other places that develop film, but they're going to actually look at your pictures, look at your negatives, and make sure they're giving you the proper print at the end of the day. Shout out Joe, the driver. <laughs> Joe's been printing my stuff forever, and I don't know where else that would go. All right. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday for our next Tuesday Tech Talk. Thanks, True Believers. Locally owned and operated for over 50 years, Delaware Camera is your number one spot for all your camera needs, education, accessories, printing, and more. Located at 2635 Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. Visit Camerspot.com.